Hello, my name is Garrett. I play bass in the main, and you are watching Permanent Rain Press. Hey everyone, it's Natalie with the Permanent Rain Press. Today I'm here with Garrett from the main. How are you today? I'm good. It's the last day tour, and somehow I still have energy, so I'm feeling yeah, good about a, it. That's a feat within itself, right? Yeah. Totally. <laughs> so you are wrapping your third full summer on Warp Tour. Uh, what's one thing that stuck out about stuck out about this year in particular? I don't know. It definitely felt different this year. Um, I don't know if we felt more comfortable doing the tour just because we knew exactly what it was like. Um, maybe I think that probably helped. Um, and also, just everyone seemed really excited to be there, um, which was really nice, and we're really really happy where we're, where we're at with our career and it just yeah it's a, it was a positively great tour yeah you guys definitely have a lot of fans out to support you at every single show and I know that your recently released video for another night on Mars actually features some footage of the fans the 8123 family the songs become like an anthem for a lot of people so did you see it as a kind of a fitting close to the American candy chapter yeah I'm actually surprised that the song went over so well um, I remember writing it and it was like, it definitely felt like the, the song just for us um, on, the, on the record. Um, so the, the fact that it went over really well, it kind of blew my mind. Um, yeah, I mean, it's just, it, it, it fit perfect with how just excited everyone was and uh, how well the record did. And um, it, 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 yeah, to end it on the last song and do a video for it and people being really excited about it. Um, meant a lot to us and I mean, hopefully to people who like the song too. Yeah, I know there are a lot of people hoping that it's a permanent fixture on the set list sometime soon. I know yeah. you guys play it sometimes and not other times. Yeah, I don't know. Um, I don't. We really want to start switching the set a lot. Um, I think that's kind of our next. I mean, after we record and everything, but I think our next big goal as a band is to be able to play different. Because a lot of people come to a lot of show, like shows on a single tour. Um, being able to do a different set every night for them and, and to keep it fresh for us is, I think, something we're really going to work hard on when we're off. And we do have a good chunk of time um, at home, so uh, we sh that's the goal, I guess, yeah. Being a little unpredictable, right? Yeah, well, like, and even if it doesn't go over well every night, it's, like, totally cool, and I'm totally fine with that. Um, but just the fact of switching it up and keeping it fresh for us, I think, is... Um, important and it's just yeah i mean there's people who've been to like a hundred shows or more of ours which is like crazy and you know seeing the same songs every night um, probably isn't that fun for them so uh yeah i think that 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 is a goal awesome and you guys also got to perform at the apmas this year with your friends in mayday parade and steven of third eye blind so what was that experience like uh crazy um it was like a lot of work up until for like what went by super fast um it was it was pretty pretty nuts um it was cool to do stuff with mayday um i mean we've been friends with them for a long time we've always talked about doing something not like that but like kind of figuring something out where we play together on something so uh that was fun in itself and then the fact that we played a third eye blind song just put the icing on the cake i think um you know for us that's one of our favorite bands i know uh those dudes really like them too so um yeah, it, I think it was something special, uh, at least for us. I, I don't know if people really cared or not, but it was it was uh, it was something cool for us, and I don't know, it, it just put a good stamp on even just how well this this summer has gone for us. Um, it, it really was something else to talk about too. So. Yeah, I think it went over pretty well. And yeah, one thanks. thing I always look forward to when you guys are at the EP Mays is your outfits, and this year it was leopard print suits, leopard print scarf for Pat. Yeah. So how did you kind of decide on what to wear? Well, um, we, last time we did the big suit thing, um, and I think it kind of went over a lot of people's heads. <laughs> uh, so that was that was funny for us. But this time we're like, if we're gonna do something ridiculous, let's make it like super ridiculous. And John found those suits, and we're like, fuck yeah, that's perfect. Um, yeah, it was funny. It was cool. <laughs> well, I think you guys look pretty fierce. Best Thank dress you. for sure. Thank you. So, after a Warped Tour and a show in New York, you guys will be taking a break to write and record album number six. Yeah. 
So I know that uh, American Candy was more or less recorded in Joshua Tree in the desert and this one will be done in a house on a cliff outside of San Fran. Yeah. So how do you decide on these more or less remote locations in comparison to, you know, a more established studio in like the city? Um, I think getting away is something we really enjoy. Um, I mean, we didn't really have phone service in Joshua Tree and I, I, from what I've heard where we're going, it's even worse. So. Uh, <laughs> Um, yeah, I think just really focusing on what you're doing, I think, really helps. When we did the um, record in Nashville and I mean, in, in L.A. too, it was like kind of can get distracting. And you know, there's people you know around, and you can end up like going out, and then like the next day your head hurts because you went to the bar for too long. Um, that stuff. It, I, I think if you're making a record, it just that just gets in the way. Um, to be in like a cool place like L.A. or something, just that's not really our vibe. So I think going somewhere where you wake up and you see something beautiful, like looking at the ocean or like just living in the middle of nowhere in the desert, I think it's something special and we're able to do it because we have our own gear so we can record all of it. So um, yeah, I think it's something that's cool and unique for us and um, gets yourself out of the comfort zone, but also makes you completely focus on what you're doing. Um, yeah, I, I think it's, I, I enjoy doing it. Do you think it shapes the sound at all? Um, maybe. Um, maybe more so just like the inspiration of being kind of out. Yeah, there. Um, I don't think we ever like really, I think maybe on this next one, some of the stuff we've talked about, it actually might more so, but I don't think there's really anything that like sounds desert-y on, um, on American Candy. Uh, I think if anything, that probably just comes out of us because we're from the desert anyway. Um, but yeah, we're going to be on a cliff looking over the ocean, so I think there might be kind of some sort of... It, it could definitely creep in, I think. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for taking the time to chat with us, and Thanks. we look forward to seeing what you guys can come up with for the next record. I'm excited, man. It's going to be cool. Out to my closest friends, the ones who make me feel less alien. I do not think I would be here if not for them. So there are a lot of dance moves out there, but you're a pretty creative guy. Can you come up with one and name it for us? Yeah, I got this one. It's called the Floppy Bobby. The floppy Bobby. I keep doing that.